Hello guys, I'm Johnny and today we are going to see how to troubleshoot some common issues when we install Grocery Crud Enterprise for the first time. Especially when you get this message on your screen. I've heard that many people are a bit more overwhelmed than I was expecting. I don't want to spend more time, so let's get into it. Around 80% of the users that have an issue with their installation see this message and they literally don't know what to do next. Let's explain first what this message means and then how to solve it. This message is showing us that you have correctly installed Grocery Crud Enterprise but you haven't loaded your assets files such as JavaScript and CSS files. The next step is to open the development tool of your browser and check if you are getting any URL errors. In my case, I am pressing right click, inspect element and I'm going to the console and see that many URLs are not loaded and to be honest, the URL seems a bit wrong. If this is the case, then you have to go to your configuration file of Grocery Crud and change the assets path. I'm going to show you now in my Code Igniter 4 installation, but it is important to know that it doesn't matter which framework you use. The steps are the same. Let's go to app, config, grocerycrudenterprise.php and change the base URL path to your actual path of your assets. For example, in my case, if I replace the assets folder to my actual assets folder, you can see that now my CRUD is loading as expected. Although for this particular example that I'm using CodeIgniter for, I'm strongly suggesting to not hard code the assets folder value, but to change the base URL path of the framework. For example, for CodeIgniter 4, I should go to dot and file and change the app.base URL to the actual base URL path as you can also see at your screen. If you could find the solution to your issue, of course don't forget to like this video. Another case when you see this message is that you haven't loaded the assets files at all. So you see this message, but you open the development tools and you can't see any error. If this is the case, then you will need to make sure that you've included the CSS and the JS files into your template file. More specifically, make sure that those lines that you can see at your screen are actually triggered into your PHP code. Always make sure that you load the JavaScript and the CSS files. It is very important, guys. Another rare case is that you see an empty box into your CRUD with nothing loaded. But for this scenario, it will take another video to explain. And that's why I want your feedback first. Let me know what issues you have with the installation of Grocery Crud Enterprise so we can cover them in the part 2 section and don't forget to subscribe so you can see this video first.